Hi, my name is Danielle. I am from Austin, Texas in the United States, and I'm the current oral English teacher at the Liz Hainu Experimental Middle School in the Hunan province of China. Honestly, there's not a whole lot to do in town. The Laodao River flows through town, and there's a nice pathway along the river that people like to walk or run during the evenings. There's plenty of small shops, restaurants, supermarkets, and things of this sort. There's also a movie theater as well as a few KTV options. Changsha and Luoyang are both major cities located within 30 to 45 minutes of town, and I often visit these cities on the weekends. The apartment itself is nice. It's small but has everything one person living alone could need. It's fully furnished and has a smart TV, air conditioning, Wi-Fi, a western toilet, and a washing machine. There's no dryer in the apartment, but there's a clothesline just outside the front door where you can hang all of your laundry out to dry. The wardrobe they provide is large and holds all of my clothes and shoes with no problems. Sheets and a comforter for the bed are provided. The water from the sink is not good to drink, so the school delivers drinking water at your front door. The school is about a five minute walk from the apartment. It's fairly small and it doesn't take long to learn your way around. I have a desk with a computer and a shared office space with some of the other teachers on the second floor. There's a large field outside with a track and they're currently working on building a rec center behind the field. The canteen is located on campus as well and serves three free meals a day starting from Sunday dinner through Friday lunch. I teach oral English to grades seven and eight. There are currently 10 classes for each grade, so I'm teaching 20 lessons each week, but this number could change next term depending on how many students they have. There's an English textbook for each grade that they strictly follow, so your lessons will have to coordinate with the unit that they're learning and their textbook that week. The students have a lot of energy and are eager to learn in a fun environment, so I normally play games with them and incorporate fun activities into my lessons. This is one of my grade 7 classes making fruit salad for a lesson over different types of food. My experience teaching in China has far exceeded my expectations. The staff at the school are really inviting and helpful, the workload is light, and the students are great. Um, this town is a great town to live in if you're looking to be fully immersed in the Chinese culture and really experience it day in and day out. However, if you're looking for more of a big city lifestyle, then this might not be the right location for you. Anyway, I hope that your experience ends up being just as great as mine has been, and good luck!